In Hindu cosmology and spirituality, the idea is introduced of 11 dimensions of existence. Interestingly, the descriptions of these 11 dimensions align to the 11 logical patterns for establishing homeostasis in a triadic system. Burloka, the physical realm, is where humans, animals and plants coexist. It is characterized by physical existence and experiences. This plane is governed by the laws of karma, where actions directly influence future rebirths and experiences. The interplay of the three gunas, sattva, rajas, tamas, shapes the quality of life and spiritual growth. Maintaining balance in Burloka is crucial for sustaining life and promoting spiritual evolution. Burloka thrives on the coexistence and balance of humans, animals and plants. When these elements are in harmony, the ecosystem flourishes. Neglecting any component leads to ecological disruption, highlighting the importance of maintaining balance and mutual respect among all living beings. Bhuvaloka is the realm of spirits and celestial beings, situated between the earthly plane and the heavens. This dimension is inhabited by semi-divine beings and ancestral spirits. It serves as a transitional space where spirits reside before ascending to higher planes or returning to Purloka for rebirth. Positive actions and rituals performed by beings in Bhuvaloka influence both the earthly and heavenly realms, maintaining cosmic balance and harmony. Bhuvaloka underscores the significance of reinforcement through positive actions. Celestial beings must continuously engage in beneficial actions to maintain harmony. Negative actions or neglect can create a feedback loop that disrupts the intermediate space, highlighting the importance of ongoing positive influences. Svaloka, often referred to as heaven, is the abode of the gods, including Indra and other celestial beings. It is a realm of joy, where souls experience the fruits of their good karma. This plane is characterized by divine activities that sustain the universe's order and well-being. Devotees who perform virtuous deeds may ascend to Svaloka after death to enjoy heavenly pleasures. However, this is not the final goal, as souls eventually seek liberation beyond the cycle of rebirth. Svaloka teaches the causal connection between divine deeds and cosmic order. The gods' actions bring blessings, which in turn uphold the cosmic balance. If devotees fail in their virtues or if the order is disturbed, it impacts divine activities highlighting the reciprocal nature of divine and human actions. Mahaloka is inhabited by great sages and rishis who have attained a high level of spiritual realization. It is a plane of deep meditation and spiritual practice. The sages in Mahaloka possess profound knowledge and engage in activities that sustain and propagate Dharma, cosmic law. This realm serves as a bridge between the physical and higher spiritual planes, where sages continually seek and share divine wisdom, contributing to the universe's spiritual evolution. Mahaloka emphasizes the non-linear and retrospective nature of spiritual growth. Sages' practices lead to knowledge, which must be shared to sustain spiritual practices. Neglecting knowledge or teaching causes a decline in spirituality showing the importance of continuous learning and dissemination of wisdom. Yanaloka is the realm of enlightened beings who have achieved a high state of spiritual knowledge and purity. These beings possess a deep understanding of the universe and the principles governing it. In Yanaloka, souls are dedicated to the pursuit and dissemination of spiritual knowledge, supporting each other in their quests for higher truths. This plane represents a community of spiritual seekers and teachers who work collectively towards greater enlightenment. Janaloka highlights the inclusive nature of wisdom and enlightenment. Enlightened beings continuously share knowledge, fostering collective spiritual growth. The absence of either wisdom or enlightenment halts progress, emphasizing the need for a balanced and inclusive approach to spiritual development. Tapaloka is the realm of ascetics and yogis who practice intense austerities, tapas, to attain spiritual power and enlightenment. It is characterized by rigorous discipline and self-control. Inhabitants of Tapaloka are engaged in deep meditation and penance, seeking to transcend physical limitations and achieve higher states of consciousness. This realm reflects the dedication and perseverance required to progress on the spiritual path emphasizing the importance of physical, mental and spiritual discipline. Tapaloka underscores the conjoined nature of physical discipline, austerity and spiritual growth. 
These elements must work together to maintain the realm's integrity. Neglecting any part disrupts the entire process, highlighting the importance of a holistic approach to austerity and spiritual practice. Satya Loka, also known as Brahma Loka, is the highest plane of existence within the material universe. It is the abode of Lord Brahma, the Creator God. This realm is characterized by truth, purity, and ultimate knowledge. Souls in Satya Loka have achieved the pinnacle of spiritual evolution within the material world and are on the threshold of liberation, moksha. Life in Satya Loka is marked by eternal peace and the direct presence of divine wisdom, serving as the final step before merging with the ultimate reality, Brahman. Satya Loka represents the harmonic balance of truth, divine knowledge and liberation. Each element supports and enhances the others, creating a state of perfect harmony. The absence of any disrupts this balance, underscoring the necessity of maintaining all aspects to achieve spiritual perfection. Atala is the first of the subterranean planes. It is inhabited by powerful beings who possess great mystical abilities and enjoy material wealth and sensual pleasures. Atala is ruled by Bala, a demon who uses his powers to create illusions. This realm reflects a convergence of power, wealth and indulgence, illustrating how these elements interact to sustain a unique form of existence. It teaches the consequences of overindulgence and the importance of balancing material and spiritual pursuits. Atala highlights the convergent relationship between mystical powers, material wealth, and indulgence. Each aspect feeds into the others, creating a cycle of prosperity. The absence of any disrupts this convergence, emphasizing the importance of maintaining all elements for continued prosperity. Vitala is another of the subterranean planes, known for its inhabitants' focus on material wealth and enjoyment. It is ruled by the god Harabhava, an aspect of Shiva, who engages in various pleasures. This plane reflects the dynamic interplay between wealth and restraint, where material indulgence is balanced by the potential for spiritual growth. Vitala demonstrates the necessity of balancing worldly pleasures with spiritual discipline to avoid moral and spiritual degradation. Vitala emphasizes the combination of material wealth, spiritual restraint, and indulgence. These elements must be balanced to prevent conflicts. Neglecting restraint or indulgence disrupts the harmony, highlighting the importance of balancing material and spiritual aspects. Sutala is ruled by the benevolent demon King Bali, who was granted this realm by Vamana, an incarnation of Vishnu. Despite being a demon king, Bali is known for his generosity and devotion to Vishnu. Sutala is characterized by great material wealth, spiritual merit, and benevolent leadership. It illustrates how material prosperity can coexist with spiritual virtue and benevolence, promoting a harmonious and prosperous society. Sutala underscores the association between benevolence, material wealth, and spiritual merit. Each element supports and enhances the others, creating a balanced and prosperous realm. Disassociating any part leads to decline, highlighting the importance of maintaining this interconnectedness. Patala, the lowest of the subterranean planes, is inhabited by Nagas, serpent beings, and other powerful entities. It is known for its immense wealth and mystical treasures. The inhabitants of Patala possess great physical strength and mystical abilities. This plane represents the integration of various forms of power and knowledge necessary to maintain its unique existence. Patala teaches the importance of integrating different strengths and abilities to sustain a cohesive and powerful society. Patala emphasizes the integration of physical prowess, mystical abilities and mystical power. These elements must be harmoniously integrated to maintain the realm's strength. The absence or neglect of any leads to disintegration, highlighting the necessity of preserving all aspects for continued potency and stability. By contextualizing each dimension with integrated insights and traditional explanations, we gain a deeper understanding of the interconnected and balanced nature of these realms in Hindu cosmology. Each dimension highlights specific aspects of spiritual and material existence, emphasizing the importance of maintaining harmony and balance across all levels of existence.